to wear or not to wear. I'm talking about a tie. And I promise this will be the last time we talk about it, maybe. The only days I wear a tie, I promise. It's not something I generally give a lot of thought to, though. We've addressed it a couple of times the last couple of days just because of the onslaught of comments, text messages, and emails we've received. We've tried to have fun with it, not taking either side too seriously. And I'm not trying to make this a thing, but I got an email last night in regards to my lack of a tie, and it got me thinking. Allison wrote to say, it's very hard to take you seriously or respect your newscast with the way you dress. She went on to talk about other stations in other cities and said, your casual approach makes us look like a bunch of hayseeds. I'll probably be changing channels. I'm sorry to hear that, Allison. But I'm also sorry that this seems to be the state of our society right now. The response to this tie thing, I got one right here, by the way, and I guess I can say it's kind of refreshing to see it's not just the women getting criticized in this business for what they wear, but it also feels like this tie thing is kind of a microcosm of the camps, factions, or the tribes we've separated ourselves into. Maybe it's because we have an R or a D by our name. Maybe it's because we belong to a different social class or live in another part of town. Or maybe because someone decides to not wear a piece of fabric tied in a knot around their neck. Instead of listening to the words a person has to say, what experiences or perspective they can share, we tend to discount them altogether based on our differences. Maybe the tie thing is a generational thing. Maybe not. Maybe that's too simplistic. I understand we all have an expectation of how something should be, and when it's not that way, we aren't comfortable with it. But maybe, just maybe, if we can get past a person wearing a tie or not, maybe we have hope that the other biases we wear around our necks can be taken off. And lastly, Allison repeated a famous quote, don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job you want. Thank you, Allison, for your email. I have the job I want. We'll be right back with some of your comments about today's show.